Grand Summer Center 36 here, and today uh, I'm going to be finishing up the building of the Panzer IV House H, not the Normandy one, the uh, Eastern Front one. As you can see, since the last update video, uh, what I did was I attached on the tow cable and I put on the side skirts, which I didn't show you, but it was incredibly straightforward. The tow cable I'd already assembled. I just attach it on the same way using the uh, Gorilla Glue Super Glue. And I just kind of, as you can probably see, attached it through the uh, bracket there, across the hull, and up over the uh, spare armor plates, and then down there, just kind of hang it off. Um, I think I also added the jerry can and the extra wheel. The jerry cans from the Tamiya set. I just saw that in a photo. I thought that'd be cool to do. Because with the bow damage, just going to be one wheel would have been replaced. So there's just one, one left in the jerry can in the holder. So for my other house page, this is what the turret looks like when it's assembled. With the shirts in here. It's a very, very easy build out to the turret. Unless you want to do the, like, the interior bits like the uh, whole breach mechanism, so like that you don't have to because you're not going to see it and if you want to be able to see it by opening the doors you're going to notice there's not any interior detail pretty much so essentially what it's going to look like uh, let's go down to building it though So in this kit, uh, first of all, the gun barrel is plastic, but it is one piece. It comes in the sprue, which is, it's not as good as a metal barrel, obviously, but it is much better than a two-piece plastic barrel, because all you have to do is sand off the nubs. You don't have to do any filling. There's just a tiny little uh, seam on the whole thing, which can be taken off like really easily. Also, there are, uh, I think, four different muzzle brakes. Yeah, I guess. Basically, what you get is you get... Um, mm, there's a round end. Well, the arrangements are... There's a, it's a round end with a round back. A half round end with a round back. A half round end with a... With a... Uh, half round back and then a uh, halfway between the half round and the perfectly round with a round back okay I don't really know all I know is that usually it was the like this like the half round with the circular back or the half round with the half back that's what it usually was just check your references if you don't know which go with what they do in the kit because that's generally right I'm not sure though but I'm just gonna go probably with what my references tell me to. So here are all, uh, as it turns out, five 
possibilities for the muzzle brake. Uh, this one here, a tiny little one, is actually on a different sprue. It's not listed, but I just found it, so I just built it. The one in the center is, I'm pretty sure, the most common, but I've seen pretty much all of them on photos. My reference goes with that one there, which is the, it's kind of like halfway between these semi-round and perfectly round ones. It's like, as you can see, it's round, but not all the way perfectly round, as opposed to the one there, the fourth one. So just check your references. And when in doubt, just go with the one that they go with in the kit, which I'm pretty sure is actually this one. But i go with that one, actually, if I didn't know, because that's the most common one. the assembly of the turret. Uh, I put on some spare tracks there. Most of those were not from the kit. Um, they're from a different Panzer IV kit. Actually, I think they're Panzer III. I'm not sure. They're different types of tracks or something like that. And then those are from uh, SU-85. Uh, I posed the doors there open just because I thought that'd be interesting. Just because they'll be a different color, they'll be like kind of like a pale ivory kind of color, and that'll provide some contrast with the winter scheme I plan on the vehicle. So now the entire vehicle is assembled, um, except for the side skirts. I've built a couple of them here. These are for the uh, well, this side of the vehicle. And when you get them, they come on these handy little kind of fret thing, kind of like photo etch, but it's different material. As you can see, you kind of get these. Things I don't, they're not really engraved or kind of like laser printed or whatever into it, but that shows you where to put on all these brackets that you get. You put them on like that. There's a lot of them, and then you end up with something along that. And you can kind of bend them because these things get bunged up like quite badly often. Um, that Panzer IV kit did not have those little markings in the uh, in the side skirt. Just kind of had to guess. What it came with was there was like a full size diagram kind of like this and it kind of showed you like where they go and then you kind of guessed and kind of lined it up, kind of eyeballing it. Yeah, so let's put on the rest of the side screens. So in that, we complete the construction of the Panzer IV. On this side, I have three surgeon. Uh, just randomly. And then on this side, I have three at the front. One of them kind of off. There's going to be some battle damage on the back there, so those ones would have fallen off. Yeah, just because these things got bunged up and knocked around, so I'm going to see them hanging off like that. Uh, but... Yeah, I'll just do a quick walk around kind of how I built this thing and all the details you get on it. So, first of all, you can see this obviously extra track armor put there. Most of it's T-34, Panzer IV, Panzer III, and I got some Ferdinand uh, Panzer, I don't know, if, I guess, yeah, Ferdinand Tiger, kind of Porsche Tiger tracks there on the front. And there's also a, a tow cable like strung across the front there, kind of goes over there. Find the shirts and plate there, but it hangs down. <clears throat> so photo watch options here on the front for the spare track bracket, which I didn't actually put any tracks in. You see this number there? You can't see all of them because the tracks in the way. 
put a watch option for this kind of little I don't know, brace that goes across. You can't really see it's behind the tracks there, but yeah. On that location, actually, I would go with the plastic one, which I did on the other Panzer IV because the gap is designed for uh, the plastic one. The photo one doesn't like fill it all the way. Also, on both sides, we have photo watch for this kind of. I don't know, you can. If it will focus, I don't know. Oh my god, okay, there was like a little brace there for another set of another piece of shears and that goes on the front. Uh, on this side, you got a blood wedge option for this. Well, I guess it's like a. just a holder for these. like. tow hook thingies. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. And then there's also a photo wedge option chain there for the track block. I did a modification there. I put on a. instead of two wheels, because one of them's going to be like a replaced, having replaced one of the lower parts. I have a one wheel and J Tammy a jerry can. And I have three Panzer Shrek rockets in there because just because just why not? I don't know. Photo watch options here also for these. Um, I don't know what they are. I think they go up and close it. Like these, that's the exhaust there. But I'm not exactly sure what they're called. Uh, more photo watch options in the rear. Get this one over here for the headlight. I don't really see why you'd actually do that because the plastic one is just as detailed. Uh, take this off, it's bothering me. And also one uh, photo watch option up here on the turret. You can see there kind of in the middle of the commander's middle viewport. Not exactly sure, but my wild guess is it's just like showing the center kind of where the gun's aiming. Yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> but yeah, that's nice. But overall, I'd go with the photo watch options. I did some modifications here. I kind of broke off the rear of the uh, shears in there because it's also I put it on the welded type wheel. No, that's the cast wheel. Yeah, the cast wheel on one of these road wheels is going to be. Or place as well as that one. That's a different type because there's a battle damage, hit a mine or a grenade or something, kind of blew off the back there. So I bent up the uh, those photo watch things I showed you earlier. I bent those up and stuff, so you know, I'll paint these like differently. But yeah, uh, so overall, very nice kit. I highly recommend it. If Dragon's your thing, because of course there's lots of parts. I'm not sure how many parts this thing has, probably like 600. So it's not like a super huge amount for Dragon, but. Um, I'd, if Dragon's your thing, I'd recommend this kit as well as the other Panzer IV because they're pretty much the same. The only, the only downside of this one compared to this one is the shirts and this one has like little marker things where these uh, plastic, I guess, brackets go on. This one doesn't have a diagram. But other than that, they're essentially the same kit. There's a few slight differences. I saw like this one has like, like an extra rain kind of like diverter there and this one has a shovel on the back but overall and this one has zimmer obviously which is very very nice but um overall they're both wonderful kits i never had any real troubles with them just like fiddly annoyingness <laughs> that's the only real trouble you get and uh, sometimes you get flash or like attachment points there i don't they could be placed better but that's just what you get with dragon yeah, so, uh, next video I'll have up, I'll be covering the uh, painting of this. I'm going to do a scheme that's essentially yellow overall, dunkle gelp, and then some kind of red-brown, kind of like, you know, sneaky lines over it. Kind of like what you see on, I guess, you know, like tigers in uh, Kursk. Like that, but a little bit more open with the streaks. Oh, sorry, the, the lines of camo. And then, um... I'll do a winter whitewash over it using the AK chipping fluid and uh, the MIG this stuff, I'm not exactly sure how this stuff works but I found a YouTube video on it by like the company MIG or Mr. MIG Jam it isn't much sure. but yeah and then I'll do a winter camo over that and it'll be like heavily chipped so we'll be able to see the camo underneath it and stuff <clears throat> I could do some pretty heavy weathering on this because this vehicle would have 
seen a lot of action. Yeah, this it's gonna be like I guess 1944, 45, kind of probably 44, like East Prussia kind of area, you know, the Baltics. So yeah, and then uh, heavy weathering stuff. So that I'll show you the whole thing, just to kind of give you an idea how you can do weathering and stuff. I don't know, but yeah, I'm not sure when that's gonna be up, but I'm gonna, it's gonna be up soon. Though I have a uh, some more things to do for my D-Day that diorama. I gotta finish the Panzer IV OSB and stuff. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this video. Hope it wasn't too long. It might be, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't edited it yet. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This is Panzer March 36, and goodbye.